So a lot of people had to cancel their summer vacations this year because they didn't feel comfortable flying, so they're doing the next best thing. They're taking a road trip. I recently read this. Americans, 44% of Americans are taking more road trips this year. Because, you know, when the government says stay home, Americans decide to drive across 12 states. That's what we do. <laughs> That's how we respond. Road trips are a great American pastime. Uh, it really, it's been going on a long time. This is American is uh, hoarding t toilet paper. That's how American <laughs> road trips are. <laughs> still don't understand that one. I'm still, and I bet a lot of people are like, we really didn't need this much. We didn't need as much as we thought. Road trips date back to the first American settlers who traveled in uh, covered wagons, but instead of fighting over the radio station, they would fight over the spittoon. That's what they would do. <laughs> Two, three, four. Back in the day, there's a delay. I have to wait. So back in the day, like in the, uh, the 1980s or so, uh, taking a road trip wasn't as easy as just getting in your car and following GPS. First, you had to pack all your worldly possessions into the back of a station wagon like a real life game of Tetris. You know how hard that is. You'd take one piece out and go, what if I flatten this and put this this way? I'm describing Tetris to you. Um, and <laughs> just in case people don't play the game, I don't want you to be left out. And then you'd have to find room for that one guy who always has to bring his guitar. You know there's always someone who wants to go with his guitar everywhere, which you're like, please, we don't even want you to play it. Um, <laughs> then you have to buy a paper map, and uh, then you have to learn how to read a paper map. <laughs> which was, and they just were enormous and unfolding and folding it right back into the same exact, it, anyway. Now road trips have become much easier. Cars have air conditioning, Apple CarPlay, seat belts, that's a, an addition. When I was younger, we didn't have seat belts. We didn't wear them. Uh, we would just link arms when the driver hit the brakes. All of us would just <laughs> brace, right? Oh, that's right, I didn't have siblings. It was just me like that, <laughs> all by myself. <laughs> Being in a car that long can be challenging. I've come up with a few activities so you can enjoy your car ride. Here's what I'm thinking would be fun, in case you're taking uh, any road trips. Um, you don't have to write it down, because you're recording this, I hope. Um, stick out your, uh, your head out the window. Um, I don't know if it's fun, but dogs seem to enjoy it. So I don't know if you've ever tried that, but just stick your head out the window. Um, another thing is um, every time you see a truck, duck. Every time you see a cab, dab. Uh, every time you see a Lamborghini, put on a bikini. <laughs> It'll be hard, but that's the game. <laughs> There's this great game also called Leave Your Family at the Gas Station. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a fun one. That is a good one. I mean, you come back eventually, but just long enough for them to go, wow, she really left me, you know? And then you come back, like, <laughs> hours later. <laughs> or a day. Depends on how, how committed you are to the game. 